What was it like growing up in the Gracie household? Well, um, it's the beautiful thing, you know, because it's not a pressure, you know. We just they throw us in the match, and uh, and that's how we learn, you know. It's having a good time, fun, you know. It's no pressure at all, you know. My father always support, the family's always support, you know. We play with the brothers and, and cousins, you know. And that's that's the best. It's an amazing experience, you know. If there was a Gracie versus Gracie Jiu Jitsu tournament among you and your brothers, who would win? My brothers always win me. You were the first Gracie to take on Katsushi Sakuraba, who became known as the Gracie Hunter. What are your memories of that fight and what is your opinion of him today? Well, the fight uh, actually is back then. Is this He's in the top in his career. He's one of the best in Japan. And then I faced with him, and then at the time I'm at 65 kilos, and he's almost 90 kilos. It's a big difference, you know, in the category. And we make agreement. It's gonna be two rounds, 15 minutes, and two minutes rest between the rounds to rest. And uh, we decide if it's not a knock knockout or if it's someone makes someone tap, we're gonna make agreement. It's gonna be the draw. And well, the fight is in Japan, you know how it works, you know, and then I fight with him 29 minutes and a half. And the last 30 seconds he got me in the armbar, I never tap. And I never tell the referee to stop. And the referee stop the fight and tell uh, it's a medical stop. And then I never see something like this in Japan. And I'm very disappointed because I used to fight a lot in Japan. And for the public, People never know how it's gonna be the end of the fight. And then I very clear in my head, you know, I don't win the fight, you know, because he got some more punch and kicks on me, but he not making me tap, and then he not making me, uh, he not knock me out. And that's the two things I, you know, I'm glad because I'm a light guy, fight with the heavy guy, and then I can prove it, that the Jiu Jitsu technique is one of the best. Even though your father, Elio Gracie, never competed in UFC, do you believe he deserves a spot in the UFC Hall of Fame simply for his contributions to the sport? Well, my father never fights, but everything, everything starts with him, you know? If you go back in the days, he's the one who started to put martial art against martial art and then make the people prove, you know, what the best martial art. And then now, becoming so popular, and then a lot of people, they have a job, not even for the, the, the media, the, 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 the press, you know, the, the press, I'm sorry, the press, and the fighters, the, the news, everything, because him. If you don't have this kind of man back then, try to put one martial art against the other, one fight against the other, we're never gonna come with this kind of thing, you know, we're never gonna have this. And the days to days change a lot, you know, there's a lot of money involved. And for me, he is the man, you know, try to put everything, put everything together. Eddie Grace is the man. Why did you finally decide to make the move from Brazil to San Diego? Well, that's a tough decision for me because um, actually I have a beautiful life in Brazil, you know. I have my daughters, I have my wife, you know, and then, uh, but I just start to be back and forth in Brazil, but in America, and then I can feel, you know, one day they're gonna say, hey, what do you do here too much? And then I start to come into work a little bit, and then I don't like to be illegal, you know, and that's the time I say, you know, the time I start to be illegal, I say, you know, I'm gonna apply for the, the green card and for the work permission for the green card, and then become a, 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 a citizenship, you know, that's just, I decided to come in because I, I have a lot of work in America. America, and then I decided to come. There's another thing, you know, I got more time for myself in San Diego than the one I have in Brazil. In Brazil, I've been in the academy 7 30 in the morning to 12, and coming back at 3 o'clock and going to 9 o'clock p.m. every day. That's a little tough, you know. In San Diego, I can have a time for to surf a little bit, it's do a bicycle with my daughter, hang out with my other daughter, my wife, and that's kind of, you know, enjoy my, you know, enjoy life a little bit. 
you need to have a little balance and that's I decided to come to San Diego. Who do you think in the next generation of Gracies is going to make waves in the sport? Well, we have a couple good names around, you know. We have uh, Roger, actually the one is holding the, the world open division in the competition jiu-jitsu for long, you know, he's one of the more, you know, got more medals than everyone in the family. He's the heavy guy, he's technical. We have uh, Kron, we have, uh, you know, it's, it's so many, every day is born someone. It's very hard to say who's gonna be the next one. But I like all the graces, you know. We already part the history. We don't try to make a history. We already part the history. Well, I, one thing I know 100%. If the Jiu-Jitsu boat fell, I'm gonna go together. Because that's what I do as soon as I'm a little kid, you know. But in the terms you try to maybe fight in MMA, maybe compete in Jiu-Jitsu, you can add it something with, with something you already have. I'm, my main goal, my main martial art is Jiu-Jitsu, but for Jiu-Jitsu competition, I can use Judo to help myself, I can use wrestling to help myself. If I do an MMA, I can use a boxing or a kickbox or a, a wrestler added to the Jiu-Jitsu I have, but my main, Martial art is going to be your